Mike Tyson is taking on Jake Paul on Netflix. And look, look where that angle he just took, right? This is how you can tell a, a good box from an MMA guy, right? He wants to get this ring so he can, you know, hit, hit, go to the body. But once he gets there, that's when he's dangerous. Bop, mm, bop, bop, mm, mm, bop, 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 Mike Tyson is the better boxer. I'm gonna say it one more time just in case you guys didn't hear him. I want Mike Tyson to win the fight. I'm gonna go on record right now. I want Mike Tyson to win the fight. Booey, right there. Oh, let's take it back there. I'm not gonna lie. I'm shocked at how fast Mike Tyson still moves. What's going on, boys? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, we have a void breakdown. It's not a fight. It's basically the open workouts of Mike Tyson. And Mike Tyson is taking on Jake Paul on Netflix. It's, it, it's a big fight. It's a big fight. So we're going to go through these still photos and, or video, whatever the producers put together, and give you guys my honest opinion. Mike Tyson looks absolutely phenomenal for his age. I mean, he looks better than the, th the average 30 year old man in America because, you know, not a lot of average 30 year old Americans are active. So here we are, Mike Tyson coming out there, looking stressed, look, look, looking straight, fire, ready to rock and roll. And I'm happy for Mike Tyson to get this opportunity to be able to fight um, and make a good payday and do something that's never been done before in boxing, which is be live on Netflix. Because Netflix is going into that, you know, that live sporting event. And, you know, International Boxing Hall of Fame 2011. Um, this is a cool thing that I, I love that Mike Tyson has done. He is not working with a boxing coach. He's worth working with uh, Rafael Cadero. If you guys don't know who this gentleman is, this man has helped so many great mixed martial artists, athletes. Um, he comes from the old school shooter box days. I, I think it's good to have somebody totally different. Mike Tyson has been working with him for a very, very, very long time. And he, he approaches the game a little bit different than a boxing. He's not coming into this game as a, a boxing coach. He's coming into the game as, you know, a fight coach that might sound a little bit different but he's coming to the game with a different perspective and a different lens so we're gonna break it down uh mike tyson rocking the built lf go energy in a the pouch mm. there he is gonna lace up and a lot of you guys that's one thing that i i love about boxing gloves is that you can lace them up get them all nice and tight and it just feels like a nice soft sock on your hand a, a sock with a lot of a big pillow now, I did do a podcast, Real S Fuck Podcast, and on there, I did pick Jake Paul to win the fight. I want Mike Tyson to win the fight. I'm going to go on record right now. I want Mike Tyson to win the fight, but I, I cannot look past that, you know, Jake Paul is 30 years younger than Mike Tyson, and that's what I think the big kicker is. And I think you guys got to take a look at it, too, is that <clears throat> no matter what happens in this fight, whether Jake Paul knocks him out, Mike Tyson is the better boxer. I'm going to say it one more time just in case you guys didn't hear me. Even if Mike Tyson lose, loses this fight, he is still a better boxer. What he's been able to achieve in boxing, Jake Paul will not be able to come close to it. It's just, I feel comfortable saying that. If, even if I was a boxer, I would not come close to touching what Mike Tyson has been able to touch in boxing. So just want to put that out there. But I, I, I'm rooting for Mike Tyson, but my analyst side of myself is saying that Jake Paul's going to win. He's younger. Um, and, you know, you can get there and try to get there, but he's got to get there and be able to land that nice shot and wear down um, Mike Tyson. Uh, excuse me, uh, wear down Jake Paul. And if there's, and if you guys haven't seen Mike Tyson fight before, go back and watch his fights. He, you know, came up, with, he didn't come up, but he was very good with the peekaboo style. Okay, here we go right here. Now, Mike Tyson is doing something that I think he is going to have to do to be on Jake Paul, which is look how close he gets to, uh, he crosses the void and he's there. And this is the thing, is that he's got to stop Jake Paul, right? Granted, he has four corners to get in there. And what I mean by that is you go back and watch all Mike Tyson's fights, right? Which I get a good vi a visual of the void. Okay. Look how close he starts when he fights, right? That's going to be the kicker is that he's going to have to get to that position in order to let his hands go. But once he gets there, that's when he's dangerous. Okay. Okay. They change the camera angle. Come on. Okay, beautiful jab. One, two. Right here. So Mike Tyson, the way they're training right now, it's kind of like how everybody else trains too. Mike Tyson wants to get to this range against Jake Paul, right? He wants to get this range so he can, you know, hit, hit, go to the body, do the peekaboo uppercut or whatever he needs, he can do. But this is the one thing of boxing that you can do is you can shut this down by grabbing him. And the ref's going to come in and say, break, 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 clean, break, clean, break, clean. 
But if you go back and watch Mike Tyson's fights, he was never a type of athlete that would jab, right hook, and, and just try to be long and, and, and keep that distance from his opponents. He was always crossing the void, peekaboo style, you know, body, head, shift. Uh, they call it ice skating. You know, body, head, shift the other side and go outside uh, of outside the circle, not the circle, but outside of his, uh, his, his shoulder. So this is where he wants to get. He has to get here in order to be successful. Where Jake Paul can do, you know, and Mike Tyson, Ty not Mike Tyson, but uh, Jake Paul has already fought somebody who likes the pressure, which is Mike Perry. And what did Jake Paul do? Jake Paul used, used the distance, box, moved around him. And obviously, Mike Perry makes way more mistakes because Mike Perry's a uh, bare knuckle fighter and a mixed martial artist. He's not a boxer. But <clears throat> Mike Tyson has to get to this, this disposition to live and breathe and eat. And that's where Jake Paul knows that. And so Jake Paul can try to drop him and drop him with the right hand. But each time he gets there, he has to get here. There's no, there's no bop, mm, bop, bop, mm, mm, bop, 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 like working away, right? It's always pressure, 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 pressure. So when he's going to be pressuring, he's going to be pressuring for a whole, for a very, very, very long time. If you go back and watch the fight between Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr., which I'll try to pull a little bit of that up. If you go back and watch that fight, Roy Jones Jr. is good about running away and, and using the distance and using the void to keep Mike Tyson away. Jake Paul can do the exact same thing. Granted, he's not the athletic, uh, the athletic specimen that Roy Jones Jr. was at 28 years old, but you know you can emulate that and just run away in boxing. There, there's nothing that says, "Oh, yellow card, you have to fight." The thing is that Jake, uh, Mike Tyson does have you know one, two, three, four. So the fight's going to be, they're here, they're here. Mike Tyson's going to come out. Jake Paul's going to run. He's going to run, run, not let Mike Tyson get anything when he's trying to cross the void. And then when he gets he gets closer to the edge, he's going to grab him. And then when it's a this distance, you're going to see Jake Paul looking to pot him, pot him, pot him. And you see Mike Tyson do the peekaboo. He's going to go like this, try to get across that void. And Jake Paul's going to run. And he's going to look to, uh, Mike Tyson's going to look to get there and throw some combinations. And, or uh, Jake Paul is going to look to capitalize when he's trying to come across the void. And I'll try to pull up a little bit of that video of Mike Tyson taking on Ron George Jr. And, you know, if I was to take an image of Mike Tyson right now, there's that, there's that, there's that, um, the ice skating right there. Right? Jap, right there. Right? So I'm going to back it up. So, but the athlete has to stop. The athlete has to stop, meaning the target has to stop. Right as he goes closer, he's getting closer. He's getting across the void. Now this is pad work. Grant, it's gonna be a fight. So when Jake Paul is being ran down, Jake Paul can go this way, or he can go this way. But if he stops in front of Mike Tyson, he's gonna throw that jab, get outside of the pocket, and throw that uppercut and go this way, body uppercut. Very classical Mike Tyson called the peekaboo and ice skating. So let's do it. He gets there. He walks him down. Walks him down. Gets close. But look how close Mike Tyson is going to have to get in order to get this combination off, right? That's the thing that, that's hard about boxing is there's a sweet science to it. If this is MMA, I'll throw a fucking body kick and you're either going to catch it or eat it. And then I get to get closer to you. Then like light you up. But it gets close right here. Gets closer. There's a jab. Look how close he is, right? There's no jab. There's no range or anything like that. He's super close. There's a jab and his shoulder. Boom. And he's going to ice skate. Right here to the right. And then why does he do this? It's because it opens up the pathway of his shoulders to go drive all his power into the side. So he almost goes pop, southpaw, uppercut. And then uppercut right there. He's got to get there, right? That's what it's going to come down to. But he's going to walk him down. Boom. And look where that angle he just took, right? This is how you can tell a, a good box from an MMA guy. Watch, watch. watch. And that's why he gets in the corner. Two, and now he's at that angle, right? He rolled it, but he's at that angle ready to sh shoot because when, if he gets Jake Paul here, Jake Paul has to run this way or he has to grab Mike Tyson. He can't run out this way because Mike Tyson has shut down this side by going one, one, two, angle, nice force from that way, which is Mike Tyson go left hook, which is one of Mike Tyson's stronger shots. And he, he's, he's working the angle of the, of, of the ring. So it's awesome for somebody in my lifetime and my kid's lifetime to be able to see the great Mike Tyson uh, get to perform at 58 years old.
He's walking him down. Jab. Because he ha we know he has to get to cross that void. And, 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 and realize something. Everything's done inside the corner. Everything's inside the corner. Right? Because he's hoping he gets uh, Jake Paul there that he can keep him from moving. Beautiful. But that's what's going to come down to is Mike Tyson get into a position where he can knock out Jake Paul and keeping that pressure on him without running into something. Okay, and there's Mike Tyson. What's he doing right here? Last time he fought, when he fought Roger Jr., he came in high. He, 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 he smoked some weed. And there's Mike Tyson looking 58, you know, shred. It looks great at 58 years old. Um, you know, I hope all of us, when we get that age, we look half as good as him. I know I'm going to look as good as him. I don't know if Michael is, but I know I know your boy right here is going to look just as good as Michael, if not better. Weighing in. And I was actually shocked that Mike Tyson and Jake Paul weigh almost identically the same. I thought Jake Paul would be like maybe 245, but they weighed in like 226 and 228, I thought. I, I, not thought, I saw. But boy, right there. Oh, let's take it back there. I'm not going to lie. I'm shocked at how fast Mike Tyson still moves. But this is the thing. Sometimes I feel it's a good act. Okay, we're going to watch it and then I'm going to tell you guys why I feel like it was an act. Like everybody knew it was going to happen, right? Or there's some great fucking actors. Okay, here we go. We're going to watch the whole thing. Comes up, slaps. Nothing. Okay, well, let's watch so much. Okay, watch how nobody reacts. Look, this is what I want you guys to look at. Look at her eyes, her eyes, her eyes, her, her, and even him. Okay, when well, something pops off. People react. Okay. When something pops off, that's unexpected. People react. Okay. Now let's watch in slow motion. Watch our eyes. I'm going I'm I'm, I'm to leave this here. I'm going to leave the, the blue stuff there. Nobody bats an eye. Not even him. Nobody bats an eye. Think about that. We're going to watch it one more time. I'm going to pull the little MMA guru out. I want you guys to watch it one more time. We're going to watch it fast motion. It's slow motion. Here we go again. Here we go. Fast motion. Nobody bats an eye. Not one person bats an eye. They all smile. Even him. He doesn't do nothing. Watch one more time. Slow motion. Okay. Nobody moves. Nobody. Nobody even moves. So, do you think that slap was premeditated? That they both, you know, kind of like, I want you to slap the shit out of me. I'm going to come up. Slap the shit out of me. Everybody on the stage. Don't move. He's going to slap me. Everybody is in cahoots, but they don't even move. And I know those ring girls, they're, they're supposed to sit there like this the whole fucking, the whole time. But they are some great actors. And here we go. Here is, it is. This is the only reason why I'm giving the Jake Paul right here. 57. I, I mean, this man is 30, 30 years older than, Mike Tyson is 30 years older than Jake Paul. Um, You know. Skill for skill, pound for pound, brick by brick, whatever it may be, he will always be more skillful than Jake Paul. I'm not saying Jake Paul can't get there, but he's got a long road to get there. Just because you beat somebody doesn't mean you're better than them. Um, you know, like I, Henry Cejudo beat me, but I feel I'm a better martial artist than he is. And I think he would agree with me. I think a lot of people out there, you know, that have beat me, I feel like I'm a better martial artist than them they might be a better competitor than me but i think when it comes down to the deep root of like boxing kickboxing muay thai jiu-jitsu i doubt those guys who beat me are better martial artists so 57 to 27 30 year difference um 91 to 15 and 6 that's actually very impressive i didn't know it was 15 and 6 44 ko's to 6 um that's fucking really good 510 versus 61, 199 to 220. I don't think that's what he weighed though. I think he weighed a little bit more. And I think Mike Tyson weighed a little bit more too. But it's gonna be a sick fight. And why I also have you guys here, I'm gonna look this up real quick. That way you guys can see what I'm talking about when it comes to Roy Jones Jr. versus Mike Tyson. I'm gonna show a little bit snippet of it, right? Because we know Mike Tyson where he needs to be, right? No. Trying to get there. Trying to get there. And that's the thing about boxing. You can just run around. You can run around. Look. Look, that's all Jake Paul has to do is circle, 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 and move. That's all he has to do. 
right? That's all he's got to do in order to in order to negate where pop, 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 where Mike Tyson wants to get. You just got to move and move and move. And we've seen Jake Paul do that before in his previous fight against uh, Mike Perry. So, boys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and also hit the bell. And make sure you guys come back here Friday night as we would do our live instant reaction of Mike Tyson taking on, on Jake Paul only on Netflix.